right place. Yeah? Me cuentas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my backyard bar. And guess what? Tonight, I feel like a rock star because I have an opening act at my show. Hey, and that's me. <laughs> so before we get started here, I want you to run over to your refrigerator right now. I want you to grab yourself that beverage, then sit back down on the couch. And I want to introduce you, if you've never seen him perform before, to a gentleman that I met on a plane a couple years ago, many years ago now. Yeah. We struck up a conversation. I had no idea we'd become very good friends and that Rudy B would end up playing guitar with me all over the United States, Mexico. And here he is at my backyard bar, and he's going to open up with a song today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rudy B. And I'll tell you the story about this song just as soon as you've heard it, but you may know it already. It's called The Ballad of Mark Mooligan. This is scaring me. It's because in Mexico, he's not Mulligan, he's Mooligan. Goes like this. I sang with Mooligan in a Mexican bar. He was part hooligan and he was part rock star. Now I'm a guitar playing fool again. Ever since I met Mark Mooligan, Ever since I met Mark Mooligan, you all gotta well, sing along. I heard about him singing. I did in a Mexican jail. An eight ball to the head. Well, that's a really good tale. Or giggles, pouring drinks in her living room. They all made their way into one of his tunes. Well. Met Mooligan in a Mexican bar. He was part hooligan and he was part rock star. Well, I'm a guitar playing fool again. Ever since I met Mark Mooligan, ever since I met Mark Mooligan, he talks about the sea and sailing on his Hobie cat. Swimming with the dolphins in San Carlos, cause that's where he's at. Favorite scene, Rita, Elsa, 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 and all four kids. You'll find him singing for a living at one of his gigs. Everybody sing along. Well, I sang with Mooligan in a Mexican bar. He was part hooligan and he was part rock star. Well, I'm a guitar playing fool again. Ever since I met Mark Mooligan, ever since I met Mark Mooligan, ever since I met Mark Mooligan. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been immortalized in song. It only took 30 something years to do it. But Rudy B, thank you very much for that song. It's true in Mexico. Uh, Rudy picked up on that really quickly. Nobody down here calls me Mark Mulligan. All the Mexican folks down here call me Mark Mulligan. And, uh, well, I have to tell you, I verified it. You know, I asked the authority. I said, Marisol, what is your last name? She said, Marisol Mulligan. I knew. I knew. Well, welcome, everybody. It's so good to have Rudy B here. It's great to have you all tuned in and watching today. If you do me a huge favor right now, if you know of somebody out there who's watching something gloomy like the news, get them off that sucker. Tell them to just chill and relax for a while, to flip on over to Mulligan's Island here, and to join us, because we're going to be having fun and playing some songs, and we're going to bring Mexico to you for the next little while. So let's tell them about this uh, blue sky and this weather oh, that we have. Blue, yeah. Up there, they're up to 38. Down here, we're down to 75. While the weatherman in Cleveland says the rain ain't gonna end. And they're freezing up in Denver in the ice and snow and wind. I'm back under blue sky, back in the sunshine, back where I ought to be. Like a fish out of water, saw 
suddenly tossed back into the sea. The sound of the ocean waves in slow motion. No need to ask me why. I'm back under blue, blue, blue sky. Looking back, I guess I can't complain. Folks were nice and the job, it paid real well. But the truth is I don't get how people who keep from going insane. Cooped up in their houses, seeking shelter from the rain. While I'm back under blue sky, back in the sunshine, back where I ought to be. Like a fish out of water. Suddenly tossed back into the sea The sound of the ocean Waves in slow motion No need to ask me why I'm back under blue Blue sky Bundled up ain't how I'm meant to be Tank tops and flip flops that's more like me and Rudy B. Sound of the ocean, waves in slow motion. No need to ask me why. I'm back under blue. We're all back on the blue sky. All right, that's a good spot to be. Re-aim him so you can see him, see what he's doing on guitar there. I'd like you to know that I taught Rudy everything he knows on guitar. Uh, yeah. Well, and Mark, I've been playing air guitar because, you know, when you play air guitar, you never make a mistake. That's right. It's always perfect. So yesterday, a few of my friends went out and visited our friend Giggles at a bar down in Mexico. We're going to take you there right now. Rudy, how did you like a bar down in Mexico? We had an absolute blast. I will tell you the one thing about going to that bar, we never drank anything. <laughs> yeah, Nothing right. at all. No, no. I, and I swear. But I did bring a bottle of Advil. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. I noticed that. Rudy's, Rudy is toting around a bunch of Advils today. Well, I have worked my fingers to the bone. Trying to build myself a happy home. But the more I work, the more goes to the man. So now I've got myself a better plan. I'm going to buy me a bar down in Mexico where I can pour the friends I know. A shot or two of fun down by the sea. I'm going to buy me a bar down in Mexico what else could I ever need but the sun, a bar in Mexico with me? Well, I will pack up all my friends one day and head on down to our friend Giggles' place. Hi, Giggles! We'll be pouring drinks from dusk up till the dawn. While we dance the night away with Rudy hey, B.R. Hey. I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico Where I can pour the friends I know A shot or two of fun down by the sea I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico What else could I ever need But the sun, a bar in Mexico me well, I'll wake up every morning with nothing on my mind. Nothing. 
pouring margaritas in a palm tree paradise. I'm gonna buy me a what? Bar down in Mexico, where I can pour more than friends I know. A shot or two up and down by the sea. I'm gonna buy me a bar down in Mexico. What else could I ever need but the sun a bar in Mexico with me? What else could I ever need? Senoritas by the sea, the sun a bar in Mexico. And all of you guys out there, sing it with us. La, 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 We got the sun up on in Mexico with me. Okay. All right. Well, this is so fun having Rudy here as my guest at, at uh, Mulligan's Backyard Bar. I want to thank Seaside Realty also for, uh, for helping to bring Rudy down here. In fact, later on, we're going to show you his posh surroundings that they put him up in. Wow, you are living like a rock star. We'll get to that a little bit later, but thank you, Seaside. Uh, hope everybody is tuned in and enjoying the show. My friends, Tom and PJ, if you're out there, we're going to send this next one out for you. I forget what that is. I think we got it in cheese. Yeah. So I like to, every single week, play you songs that you haven't heard in any of the previous online shows. We like to mix it up every single week. This is one I haven't yet played from Mulligan's Backyard Bar. And uh, I love doing this one with Rudy because he just rocks on this one right here. So and we do like to send this one out for Tom and PJ. I know that it's we're coming into storm season now. Some of you guys are already getting it up in the States. Uh, let's, let's sing about what happens when those hurricanes blow. Beaches and blue sky. Then came the hurricane. Bye bye, paradise. His roof somewhere in Florida. His fridge floated out to sea. His pickup truck is stuck in mud. His boat's up in a tree. Old John was last seen out on the dock. Screaming out to the weatherman Is that all you got? From the Florida Keys. Down in Belize, the Bahamas, to Mexico. We all want to be where the hurricane blows, except when the hurricane blows. Now, Tom and PJ bought a boat and named that baby Conk Down. God knows that's how they felt before they ever left the dock. When Francis and the Jeep blew the wind right out of their sails, torn and tattered, days and battered, making man let's bail. The last time I heard from Captain Tom, he's anchored somewhere beautiful, pouring PJ a shot of rum. No doubt they got conked out, but they kept that dream afloat. They just want to be where the hurricane blows. Except when the hurricanes blow. How about that boy on the guitar? News flash, the highway's packed. They've gotten out while they can. Now it's too late to evacuate, it's about to hit the fan. So I'm stocked up on Captain Morgan, breaking out my snorkel and fins. I'm shaking, ass breaking, here we go again. I'm writing my will for the umpteen time. Making 
one last toast from the coast. So lift those glasses high, lift them up, guys. Here's to John, PJ, and Tom, and all of you crazy folks who just want to be where the hurricanes blow. We all come because we love the sun, but there's one thing you got to know. We all want to be where the hurricane blows, except where the hurricane blows. Except when the hurricane blows, except when the hurricane blows. <laughs> How about this guy? Rudy, that was awesome, bud. Fun. Great song. All right. Um, hey, I'll tell you what, let's, we were just playing one a little while ago. Another song. I'm going to give you that I have not played in the backyard show. I hope you enjoy it when we mix things up a little bit and make it different every week. Mark, salute. 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 Thanks, everybody. How do you like the drinks at Mark's Backyard Bar? There's absolutely no alcohol in them whatsoever. I, I, of course, I never, never even under exaggerate at all. Let's do deeper water. That is absolutely great. Thank you for that. See, i got to do this next song before he catches the buzz because it's got some tricky parts in it. We've actually, I don't know if we've ever played this song together. I know of, uh, of all the songs I do, Tom Shepard, if you're out there watching, I know this is, this is one of your favorites. And uh, I think of this song, usually this time of year, I'd be on the road quite a bit. And, of course, with this pandemic, one of the blessings, actually, for me is I've gotten to stay home with my, my wife and kids. Uh, but usually... I got to go out in those deeper waters now to catch my fish. I got to go on the road. And, and that's what this song really talks about. I know my musician friends out there can really relate. And if you travel for a living, uh, maybe you can relate too. Let's, let's do this one here. One, two. I remember when I was just a little kid. Ankle deep in water, my first rod and reel in hand. And I thought I was the world's greatest fisherman. As I hooked that tiny bluegill and reeled that baby in. To me, it was a whale hauled from the depths. I think about that day as I pack up and head for deeper water and bigger fish. No more catching bluegills. I gotta fill up my nets in deeper water. Bigger fish. Somewhere off the shoreline. Just trying to get to deeper water. And bigger fish. I still recall first gig at a local bar on a borrowed set of speakers and a second-hand guitar pretty soon we packed the place on Friday nights and as my tip jar filled with dollar bills I thought that I'd come far till a hundred times they'd heard that song before time to leave the harbor time to shove up of the shore Deeper water, bigger fish. You gotta hook them where they're biting. That's how it is. Deeper water, bigger fish. You gotta aim for the distance if you're ever gonna get to deeper water, bigger fish. So oftentimes their daddy's just some distant silhouette Like a boat on the horizon Always heading off for some show 
Think it's time to turn the ship around and head for shore. Deeper waters, bigger fish. Life's big clock, he's only got so many ticks. Deeper water, bigger fish. Wait to hit my front door to catch up on all I've missed. Deeper water, bigger fish. This weary traveler seen one too many trips. Deeper water, bigger fish. I can't wait to hit my front door and give my girl a kiss. Deeper water, bigger fish. Maybe catch some bluegills for the kids. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everybody having fun at home. If you are, send us your comments. And of course, if you've got something you'd like to hear, Rudy and I may be able to, we may be able to fake it. Let me know what you're thinking of Rudy B. Should I toss him out of the Mark Mulligan band? Uh -oh. It's, yeah, it's up to you. Right. We'll take a running vote here. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been fired before, but you know, <laughs> I, I just don't want to see it happen this time. <laughs> That's right. But we're having a great time. Uh, I mentioned Tom Shepard a moment ago, and uh, I know Tom likes that last song. Well, Tom co-wrote this next song, and I think you know where I'm going with this. No better place to sing about the same beer, different can, than sitting here at Mulligan's Backyard Bar. The old man drank a beer every now and then. One day we cracked a couple. Just me and him At 80 years old All the stories he could tell About his far-flung friends From friends to Venezuela He said us wig fosters With Aussies And Guinness in an Irish pub Shiner Bach And looking back And Buddy Sherman up It's all the same Different can Just different labels Different brands But the more you sip The more you understand It's all the Same beer Different can Our pal Tom Shepard played a tour overseas Singing for all our folks Stationed in the Middle East At the ambassador's home right there in Riyadh He sang a special song he'd written about his dad And when the show was over he was loading up his band this guy walked up to Tom and stuck out his hand. He said, that song about your father really meant a lot to me. Cause I just lost mine and you described him perfectly. Now that man had on a white robe. He wore sandals on his feet. Had a good truck on his head. Man, it ain't that hard to see We're all the same beer, different can Just different labels, different brands But the more you sip, the more you understand We're all the same beer, different can Now the old man said, I believe God's gonna get a good laugh. 
And we learn all of us buds and millers and land sharks and coors and even Pabst are all the same beer, different can. Just different labels, different brands. But the more you sip, the more you understand. We're all the same beer, different can. The more you sip, the more you understand. We're all the same beer, different can. Great job, Rudy B. Great job. You know, Rudy and I, honestly, he, he got down here a few years ago, and things have been really, really crazy around my house, and we, we have not had a chance to practice. This is the first time we've played together since I think my hair was brown. Well, uh, well that's... <laughs> you know, I didn't know you when your hair was <laughs> brown. I, I hate to say it. I think it's been that color since, like, what, 19? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, let's do back to back. Oh. But now that... Uh, now that the show is on and we got a couple of good drinks here and beautiful weather here in San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico, uh, I don't know about you out there, but we're feeling pretty back to laid back. Ready? One, two, three. Four. Don't even know what day it is. That's the kind of day I miss. It's been way too long since I had a day like that. Now there's another gray hair on the guy looking at me in the mirror. Time to get out of here. It's time for going back. Back to late back. Back to late back. Back to the way this boy was born to be. Back to late back. Stressed out, all about getting the head guy in. Wasn't all that long ago. How we got by, I don't know. Must have been on love alone, but we sure had a lot of that. Now it seems we're never caught up. Say we gotta have all of this stuff. Me, I've had enough. Want to box it up and send it all back. Back to late back, back to late back, before I become what I never want to be. Back to late back, back to late back, cause there's always on the run, gotta go guy. So if a brand new car never belongs to us, if our house is kind of small, so what? I'd rather take this great big list of things to do Tear it up and spend my whole day with you Back to lead back God knows that's how I'm meant to be. Back to laid back, back to laid back. Cause the stress got all about getting ahead, guy ain't who I am, or what I want anymore. Don't even know what day it is. That's the kind of day I miss. Days like this. Such a great song. You know, that's my son's favorite song of yours. Oh, really? Yeah. I appreciate that. Well, good. Hey, don't forget if you've got something you'd like to hear, I don't know if we have any requests rolling in yet. I'm going to look over this way to Mary, who's handling our request today. 
Everybody say hi to Mary. <laughs> Hold on, come on over here, it's Mary, so they can meet you. I got, I got to play at her wedding just, just a year and like five days ago, right? Yeah. So what do we got here? Oh, I don't know how to read. I never told you that. You know, Mark, if you get much older, she's going to have to stand clear over there for you to read that. <laughs> That's right. Well, good. I think we're going to head on down to the Saint Anywhere. Saint Anywhere. All right. We could. And who was that one from, Saint Anywhere? Who wanted to hear that? Richard Barna. All right, Richard. This one goes out for you. Beach chair and a blender, Coronas and copper toe. Fresh lobster and coconut shrimp, I can taste it on my tongue. But I wake up from my daydream, and the boss is on my case. Something I did sure made him mad. And I need a good day real bad. So blame it on the wind chill, or maybe it's the rain. Pull me out of the cubicle and put me on a plane. A latitude adjustments, exactly what I need. No shoes, no shirt required. Someplace warm, I can chill out for a while. Like St. Thomas. San Pedro or St. Pete's Hotter than hell is cool with me San Lucia or San Carlos I don't care Send me down to St. Anywhere A beach bar in Mexico, a boat down in Belize. It's a puddle jump to paradise, the Caribbean or the Keys. Used up all my sick days, so I'm calling in dead. <laughs> I could get canned, but I don't care. I've had it up to here, I'm going down there. Where? Waking up at the crack of noon means your day has just begun. Where the ice in my glass barely lasts till I pour me another one. Where seagulls and pelicans chase the sun across the sky. I'll be watching as some sailboat disappears. On just another day, it's ain't anywhere. I need a bright and breezy, really lazy day in the tropical sun. So pick a saint and point me toward the sea. Cause I'm tearing off my necktie, dreaming about a Mai Tai. So close your eyes and come along with me. Cause girl, we ought to be in St. Mark's. St. John's or St. Bart's I'm halfway there wondering where you are St. Lucia or St. Carlos I don't care Send me down to St. Anywhere They can have St. Paul I'll take St. Pete So adios boss I'm out of here Destination Saint Anyway. Catch you there, Saint Anyway. <laughs> All right, Richard, thank you for the request on that one. What else we got off the request? Oh, I, we had another one. Somebody wanted to hear Life in a Beach Town. Okay. And who was that one from, Mary? Franklin. I think it's Franklin Go Downs. Go down. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Franklin, Franklin, thank you. I know you watch every single week. And I really appreciate that. A whole bunch of you guys do that, and it means the world to me. Thank you. Life in a Beach Town.
You know, you've lived that life, Mark. Well, in 27 years now that I've been down here, and I still have not been deported. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, Rudy is spending more and more time down here. Uh, in fact, actually, before we do this song, Anais, I think you could probably show us some pictures here because Rudy, since he got the San Carlos, is one spoiled dude. Oh and so is his wife, Beth. Beth, come here so people can see you. Rudy's yeah. better half. So, you know, when he's played with Kelly McGuire and Tom Shepard, and, you know, well, Kelly puts him in a Motel 6. Tom ups the game, puts him in a Super 8. But what well, does Mark do? But see, I got connections because I got friends over at this place called Seaside Realty, and, and they, they got a place that has no uh, Motel man, 6. In this fact, it's thing called. is unbelievable. Why don't you tell us about your stay so You know, far? It, first of all, we walked in and just kind of looked through the place. We're going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But by the time we hit the balcony and saw that we were about maybe 30 feet from the water, and looking down, and our, we had four hours of dolphins out, outside, just right outside. We watched them all morning, and I, you know, the place itself is absolutely stunning. Um, we've actually had a couple of guests over, so we could show it off. Yeah. You know, it was it was awesome. Lots of fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. Well, good. In fact, they had me over last night. We sat. We watched a beautiful moonrise over the water, and uh, they're having a great time. It's a three bedroom, three bath unit, and uh, Pelican Beach. And, and we needed every one of those. You know, all three bedrooms. Of course, we did. That's right. So, uh, Seaside, thank you for spoiling the heck out of Rudy B. And I know that a lot of you guys have been restricted on travel and there's been border closures and all those kinds of things. But I do want you to put on your list, once all this crap is over with, please put San Carlos on your list to come down and visit because I know a lot of you guys go to Cabo, a lot of you guys go to Vallarta and, and uh, Mazatlan and beautiful places. I'm not going to put them down. They're all special for what they are. Yeah. But if you're looking for... Some degree of solitude where you can have a beach pretty much to yourself. No stoplights, no chains, no all-inclusives, no high prices like those towns. Um, and just a casual, laid-back environment that goes with just about every song I'm singing today. I'll tell you what, you really got to give San Carlos a shot. Rudy and Beth are spending more and more time down here now. Rudy's done a few shows with me, including um, when Seaside and La Palapa Griega brought you down. And you joined me a couple of times. Yep. And he's played with me in Alamos. Yeah. Well, where do you think Mooligan came from? That's right. <laughs> so please uh, follow Rudy's lead and come on down and visit us here in San Carlos. We're only about five and a half hours south of Tucson. We're about seven hours south of Phoenix. You guys in the southwest were so easy to get to. Great highway coming down. Heavily patrolled. Very, very safe. This is where I've raised my kids for... I've been here for more than half my life now. And it's, I'll tell you, it's as safe as any small town that you live in in the States. Probably safer, I hate to say. So uh, check it out. Always feel free to hop on my website and shoot me an email if you ever want to get recommendations on places to stay or uh, best way to come down to, whatever it might be, places to eat, things to do, because there's a bunch of them. So why don't we sing about life in a beach town? You ready? are hopping, the bait front bars are rocking, and it's barely even new. Yeah, won't you listen to the tunes? The bands all sound like Buffett. The out-of-towners love it when that steel drummer takes the stage. Susan King's a legend in this place. The whole crowd is swaying to a reggae sound. Oh, oh, la, la, life in a beach town. The local folks have seen it all. We remember when this place was small, but my God, all that has changed. So we grumble and complain about the college kids with fake IDs, the traffic jams and the crowded streets and those high-rise hotels. But that's what pays the bills in Cabo. Come Monday morning, they'll all be gone. Oh, oh, la, la, life in a beach town. So hang a 
close sight on the door We're locking up this little store Cause outside it's 85 degrees So grab my fins and my fishing gear Let's hit the beach and get out of here Cause I feel the need for sand beneath my feet Pete breaks out an old guitar Bought it from a guy in a bar by the name of Shrimper Joe for 20 bucks and a six to go. A crowd starts a foreman. They got Coke and Captain Morgan. Rudy Pete's known to have a few. Yeah, fire up the barbecue. Cause it's volleyball and blenders all day long. Oh, oh, la, la. Life in a beach town And now the Pelicans, they're putting on a show for the in the charter boats and those sailors out harnessing the breeze and all the sunburned fishermen just trying to reel that big one in now it's a, a crazy life out past the reef now there's a painted sky beyond the peak so before we head on out of here let's raise our glasses to the sea and make a toast to you and me. Salud, everybody! We all applaud as the golden sun goes down. Help us out now. Oh, oh, la, la. Can't hear you. Oh, oh, la, la. Oh, oh, la, la. Life in a beach town. we've made Rudy down here. I, I want to let you know what a diva has become. Pablo, could you flip the camera around and show when well, <laughs> Rudy, you, you know, I've, tell most, people, fa I've, most people just need like a little fan on them. Look at the size of that thing. It's like a Kenworth motor. You know, <laughs> I need big fans. What can I say? <laughs> Rudy's that's biggest, a really big fan. Rudy's biggest fan. I'll tell you what, I have an idea. How about I'm going to put my guitar down, right. and Rudy has a brand new CD out, and um, oh. I'll tell you what, I am really proud of Rudy on this one, because I've listened to his previous CDs, and they were all great, but this, I can honestly tell you, is my favorite Rudy B CD. Uh, just a really great mix of songs. Now, unlike me, see, I get to go to Nashville, and I get to hire all these really, really great musicians to do my stuff. And I hire somebody to do my album cover. And, you know, I write the songs and I sing them. Rudy B. does every single thing. He does every instrument you hear. He's written all the songs. He's mixed it, engineered it, everything right down to the album cover. Speaking of the album cover, thank you so much for the credits on this. I'm even uh, listed on this album cover. They are more than well-deserved. And, and on top of that, I have the privilege of you actually performing on two of the tracks, and it was awesome. It was fun. I got to play piano on a couple of the songs. And, Rudy, thanks for inviting me on those. So the new CD comes out this week. We got a couple copies here, and Rudy's just here for a couple days. He's going back to the States, and he can mail out. Now, I'll tell you what would really, really make me happy. A lot of you guys out there already have my CDs, and thank you so much. Rudy's doing the CDs for just $10, and they're going to put the PayPal link up there, uh, and it's going to say Rudy Brueggemann. That, yeah, that's his yeah. real name. Yeah, unfortunately. I like Rudy B. way better. Easier. But there's a PayPal link on there, and you can go on there, and, and that link... All of that, 100% of that, of course, goes to Rudy, and he will mail you. Those were the years, and I love the album cover. Here's a shot of Rudy. How many years ago? I was 15 in the black and white. Wow. And the other one is pretty recent. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love the CD. And um, Rudy, i tell you what, why don't you play us a song off that, and I'm going to move and get ready for us to do something on the piano. You know, you and, and I, I will just introduce this just a tiny bit to say that uh, they actually played this one on Radio Trop Rock once 
Maybe they'll do it twice. I don't know. But you know what? It was still fun to have it done once. And uh, I sent him a little note and said, this story is about a house, a boat, a car, and a girl, and the adventure of trying to get all four of them. So the song goes like this, and it's called She Said Yes. Well, you know, it was kind of a lark. Not much more than a shot in the dark She could have said no right from the start But just one look, it spoke to my heart It was a house that was sitting on a lake A shady spot, it seemed so great I didn't think it would wait and she said yes oh she said yes true story now i'm sitting on the shade and i'm by the water side well i really had to say wow what a life and then i'm waving every time a boat goes by and I really started wishing that I was that guy So I went to find a boat second hand I went to see Dallas, the boatman I wanted that new one, I confess And she said yes, well she said yes Well it could have been a different tale She could have said give it a rest she could have said just plain no but instead well she said yes she said yes she said yes and i never would have ever guessed something that caught my eye now i can't get it out of my mind and she said yes she said yes and i never would have ever guessed all i had to do was ask she said yes. You know, 1998, I bought a car. I kept it forever. And then this happened. Well, my old car, well, it's too old to get parts. Well, it runs pretty good. Well, it usually starts. I keep a pan on the floor because everything leaks. And it couldn't be fixed So I bought a new Jeep And it was out with the old And in with the new And a fat new payment Came with it too I could have gotten by With something less And she said yes Ah, oh, she said yes I know this girl Sounds too good to be true But before all of this I already knew I asked her if I could fall in love with a girl named Beth. And she said yes. Well, she said yes. And I never would have ever guessed. Someone who caught my eye. Now I can't get it out of my mind. She said yes. She said yes. Well, and I never would have ever guessed. She said yes, ah, oh, she said yes, ah, oh, she said yes, you know, she said yes. And this is Beth. Yeah. Love you, sweetie. All right. Sir, your drink has arrived. Oh, did <laughs> somebody diva. bring me? Oh, my. What I feel a diva. Like, I feel like such a <laughs> rock star. Thank you. In, in um, Mexico, you know, a the, the tip is, is when it's Eva. really, really hot, you should wear something cool. <laughs> I, I don't know. A appar apparently, they don't tip up in the United States. <laughs> well, actually, we use our, we use our credit cards. Do you take credit cards? I have. Rudy, I have. that was a, that was a great song. Thank you.
Uh, I, I have plastic, but I just don't have any cash. Well, I'll tell you what. I think we need to sell a Rudy B C D out there so that Mary gets a tip. Well, and, now, and, there you go. And, hey, Why Mary, don't you take the, the first CD. That's that's it. Can first I, one that comes is for Mary. <laughs> hey, I promised to tip you at the end of the show. Would you actually mix me anything? <laughs> You know what I See, like. See, Mark doesn't have cash either. She's Come on, go by you know, we're musicians. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you, you might want to go back to watching the gloomy news at this point. <laughs> hey, uh, this is going to be kind of fun, Rudy. Um, I'm going to have Pablo. Not only We're moving the camera a little bit so that you can get a little bit better angle of, of uh, Rudy when he's playing the guitar, because I know that that iPad's blocking a little bit. Uh, sorry about that. That's all right. Um, Rudy and I really enjoy playing this next song, and Elsa couldn't be here today. She's running around, got a ton of things going on. But um, this is a song that I proposed to her over this song. And what's going to make the song extra special today is we're going to also throw on some of the wedding pictures that you guys sent to me. We, we did this a few weeks ago, and I, I just think every time I play this song, I'm going to show some of you guys. So look for you. Look for your friends. You might recognize somebody in this song, and uh, Ru Rudy and I will play a song here off the South of the Border Again CD. Yeah. This yeah. one's called Can't Look Away From You. You walk in the room, it's all that I can do. Just look away from you As you take my hand I wonder if you can See right through my soul Hear my heart beating out of control For just a moment let's imagine That the world ain't waiting outside that door Kill the lights, close the curtain Take us where we've never been before Girl, I love you I love you Baby, I really do Unquenchable desire Passion like fire Two hearts intertwined Tonight's all yours and mine Waited for so long to wind up where I belong, right here with you. You made my dream come true. Now I'm a singer, I'm a dreamer, I'm a lover when I'm laying here by your side. And every second, every minute, every hour, I want to make you glad you're mine. Cause baby, I love you. Once again, just a man who never really had a clue How in the world did I wind up with the girl that I'm singing this song to? You walk in the room It's all that I can do To keep my eyes off you To just look away from you Can't keep my eyes off you And I can't look away from you mm, can't look away from you Beautiful work. all right hey lo love is in the air I think, I think Beth's going to go give him another kiss after that. Beth, go kiss them, man. Uh, all right, let me move back over to guitar. She always needs an excuse, you know. Hey, um. oh. What do we have, Mark? <laughs> well, let's see here. You want me to hold that a little ways out so you can see that okay? Let's see. We'll do one that was insane. <laughs> Here's a good one. 
and Heidi is out there. Hi, Heidi. And Lynn. Lynn Warner's out there, too. And they would both like to hear this next song that was inspired off a bumper uh -oh. sticker. Some good rum. What what kind of rum was that? Uh, was that Botron? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was good. I sure hope there's rum in heaven. I really do. It will really make floating around on a cloud a lot more fun. Because <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, floating around on a cloud after about 20 minutes, I think it's going to get kind of old. But yeah, but you know, I'm kind of hoping there's a jacuzzi, ESPN, some rum, ice cubes. Now, now, now I will behave so well. I'm going to eat ice cubes. All right, all right. I'm just saying. So this next song, speaking of heaven, because we all want to get there, just the title of the song is a true story, my friends, because it's called Jesus Loves You. And I ain't talking about some other dude. I'm talking about you. First you sit the waitress, then you slammed the door. You backed into a Buick, and then you blew on down the road. I wonder what were you thinking as you took off down the block, screaming like a madman and flipping people off. Just about then I thought I'd seen it all. Until I saw that big old sticker on the back of your car And it said, Jesus loves me And I did a double take I can't speak for our Savior But there's gotta be some mistake Now this ain't from the gospel No, you won't hear this in church yeah. Jesus loves you The rest of us think you're a jerk just woke up on the wrong side of the bed so you're having a bad day huh well get over it maybe your mama didn't love you your gal dumped you or the job is driving you insane go ahead shout out to the lord but quit screaming his name in vain there you go cussing out the traffic cop i bet god's looking down Begging you to please shut up As you say Jesus loves me Dude, I, I've actually got some doubts Take a good look At the good book This ain't what it's all about Now here's a revelation Take it for what it's worth Yeah Jesus loves you The rest of us think you're a jerk He said he came for sinners, and you're his kind of guy. But now I look into the mirror, uh-oh, and my God, I realize. Who am I fooling, thinking I'm better than you? Yeah, Lord, forgive me. I know not what I do, because just like you, I say, Jesus loves me, and I know that's true. Even when I don't get just what he sees in you Okay, and I point my finger like you're the big sinner When I just might be the worst Hey, thank God Jesus loves me Even when I'm a jerk Now I hope we both make it to heaven I just pray you get there first Yeah Jesus loves you One more time, because it's true Jesus loves you. Hey, gang, let's just leave it at that. All right. Thank you for the request. Let me get back to my request line here. I know we had a request for a song called A Fisherman's Daughter. I just want to see who requested it. Okay. Okay. That's a nice song. Got some good requests on here. Uh, Hannah, Hannah Strong, or as she's known, as she's known in Mexico, Hana Fuerte. Uh, 
Well, we'll do that one for you right now. It's kind of weird, Hannah, because when I first recorded this song with my original producer in Phoenix, he told me, don't record this song. Women are going to hate this song. And it's weird, as evidenced again in this show, almost every time I get a request for this song, it's from a woman. I think, I think they like this one more than the guys do. So, guys, go to the fridge and grab a beer. This one's for the girls. One second, Rudy's learning it. Oh, I forgot it. Oh, right. Yeah, that is. Hold on a second, I'm teaching the song to Rudy. This oh, guy can't even play guitar. What's he doing here? I'll do whatever he wants to do. I'm going to make it up. He'll, oh, he'll make up his own parts on this one. Little diamond is so dang tiny She said, this is the best ring you could buy me Don't you know this is her big day And daddy's girl always gets her way but Little does she know That not so long ago On that weekend they didn't talk It's not quite what she thought He was Three days on a desolate coast how about the border down in Mexico? A sleeping bag and an old guitar Camping out under the stars A quick flight away From one angry fiancé You should have heard her girlfriends talking While on that first night he went walking Past the shack down by the water It's when he first saw the fisherman's daughter story gets good. It wasn't planned, it just kind of happened. He waved at her, she smiled at him. Her daddy didn't like that much. He turned around and stormed back in the hut. But later on that night, between dusk and morning light, I guess Spanish class paid off. They laughed and joked and talked. Like the babes in Pride magazine A ragged shirt and some worn out jeans Big brown eyes and skin so tan Kinda shy, kinda innocent And he told her about his girl And her gotta have it world The credit cards, the catalog The nose job and the spas And the night got dark and the fire grew hotter Hanging out with a fisherman's daughter And for a girl raised on nothing She sure was something else And for the first time in ages He could simply be himself they spent that weekend all alone together And wish somehow the now could last forever Somebody's having a real bad hair day Freaking out and fighting with the bridesmaid Church is packed, it's half past noon Nobody's seen or heard from that groom But just down the street He stumbles to his feet Lays down a tip of 50 bucks The bartender says good luck Buena suerte mi amigo He made it there in the nick of time Her dad was mad and her mom was crying Before he had a chance to say a thing he heard those church bells ring Here comes the bride Marching down the aisle He could 
hear his own heartbeat. Was it the booze or just cold feet? And the best man grinned and the bride got ill. When he looked at her, he said, I, I, I got a bill. I sure hate to stand you up at the altar, but I'm in love with the fisherman's daughter. I'm in love with the fisherman's daughter. Still in love with the fisherman's daughter. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Hannah, for the request. Was that, Rudy, was that your first time ever playing that yes. song? Oh, really? I really stumbled. I'm sorry. Rudy's probably played with me uh, probably about 20 shows now that we've done, and maybe more than that. Washington, Colorado, New Mexico, uh, Arizona, here in Mexico. Uh, all over the place so it's always a lot of fun the comments coming in apparently you guys want me to keep this guy i was on the verge i was on the verge of tossing him out of this band <laughs> i heard a mistake guys. like six songs ago and i thought oh that's it well, one mistake and you are out of the mulligan band for at least 30 seconds well i made about thirty thousand mistakes on that one <laughs> yeah Ooh. well let's do the light can you guys hear oh. follow you yeah follow go follow me on this one bill and Ellie in Rocky Point, I'd like to send this one out for you. And I also get requests from the song, for, for the song from quite a few other people. Kenny Chesney fans out there, you'll enjoy this one. Wasn't his biggest hit, but man, great lyrics, great song. A song called The Life. It was early one morning in Playa del Carmen That's when I first met Jose He had a 12-foot schooner and a 3-foot cooler Full of the catch of the day He was wrinkled and grinning from all the sun he had been in He was barefoot, survey sun hand He said, gracias, senor, as I paid him too much For all of the snapper he had I told him, my friend, it ain't nothing In the best broken Spanish I knew I make a good living back where I come from He smiled and said, amigo, me too He said, I fish And play my guitar And laugh at the bar with my friends Go home to my wife And pray every night I can do it all over Somewhere over Texas, I thought of my Lexus and all the stuff I'd worked so hard for. And how the things I had gathered from climbing that ladder just didn't seem to matter much anymore. They say my nest egg ain't ready to hatch yet. They keep holding my feet to the fire. They call it paying the price so that one day in life I'll have what I need to retire. And just fish And play my guitar And laugh at the bar with my friends Go home to my wife And pray every night I can do it all over again And to think that for only one moment I actually thought that I had it made When the truth is I'm really just dying To live like Jose And just fish And play my guitar And laugh at the bar with my friends Go home to my wife And pray every night I can do it all over again Play my guitar and laugh at the bar with my friends. Go home to my wife and pray every night I can do it all.
all over again. What a great song. And, uh, you know, Kenny's another one who's got a new album out. And I'm always excited about that, too, because the guitar players on my last five or six albums that I've recorded in Nashville, those are Kenny's boys. And uh, uh, John Willis, what an amazing guitar player. And John Conley, I want to thank those guys for all they put into my albums. Wow. I'm so blessed to have them playing on my tunes. And, uh, boy, the new Kenny Chesney album, I'm really, really enjoying that. The new Buffett album, have you guys picked that up? That's a, that's a really fun album, too. And I want to give a shout-out to my, my buddy Dave Zobel because Dave wrote what is co-wrote with Will Kimbrough and a couple of other guys. One of my favorite songs on that new Life on the Flipside album, it's a song called The Slow Lane. When this show is over, not right now, but when the show is over, uh, I want you to look up that song called The Slow Lane. And, uh, man, great song off the new Buffett album. And don't forget... Tonight, maybe Anais can put up even the link for it, uh, for this momentarily. Those Were the Years is a wonderful album you heard before an acoustic version of She Said Yes, but the album, just so you know, is not just acoustic guitar. It's fully produced and a great mix of songs. Uh, Rudy's a wonderful songwriter, and man, I just can't believe his musicianship. It's not just guitar. He's doing the entire thing. Um, it's only 10 bucks. Um, a lot of you guys who've been in quarantine for a long time, I think one great way to enjoy quarantine or spending more time at home is with new music, especially at a great price like this. Hop on that PayPal link. You can show Rudy B. some support tonight if you're enjoying tonight's show by picking up a CD, and he will get that in the mail for you in about six years when we finally kick him out of this country. Well, you know, the sad thing, Mark, is I have a lot of really embarrassing old pictures in there. And so if you really don't like the music, the pictures are still kind of fun. You can make fun of me forever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, actually, the pictures are really cool. And that's one of the neat things about getting the album is, is, uh, is seeing that. So that's one of those things you can't just, like, download or stream. You've got to pick yeah. up the CD for that. Let's see what we got here. Um, Maggie Murray would like to hear me do a song that I, I actually forgot one of the lyrics on last week, and I don't think I've learned it again. But Maggie, what the heck? For Maggie, why not? Right. Yeah. I'm going to just skip over that part that I, I forgot. Part of this is, seriously, I have like 15 albums out, and when a song kind of falls out of the rotation, it's, it's not easy to keep all these songs in your head. Oh, no. And it's, it's, how far back are we going here, Mark? <laughs> Oh, I don't have that one either. Okay, that's all right. Just play me something pretty over there. Right. I trust you, Rudy B. Kind of. Uh, yeah, I know. A key of A, okay. Just like we rehearsed it, Rudy. Maggie Murray, this goes out for you, and I cannot wait to sing for you again in Reno on September the 12th. And if you guys want to join us, there's a hammock. There's a woman. There's babies, and there's me, and there's a seagull sitting on a half-sunk fishing boat, and there's a sail sliding across the sea, and it's good, good to be home again, and feel the sunshine on my skin, and listen to the sound of the wind. Telling me it's nice Knowing you'll be here for a while So kick your shoes off and smile Ain't it good to be home again Now there's moonlight And there's laughter And there's a song A seaside lullaby And there's a feeling I don't need a rhyme or a reason So please be back by your side And it's good, good to be home again And hear those waves rolling in Where in the world have I been? And it's funny how the 
seasons just disappear a little faster every year. But ain't it good to be home again? It's amazing how it suddenly seems so clear The reason we're all here Ain't it good to be home again Just for a moment The world don't know where I am No need to know the past Ain't it good to be home again There's a hammock There's a woman there's babies, a bunch of them. And there's me. Maggie Murray, wouldn't you know it, for you, the words pop back in my head. Thank you, God, I owe you some, buck, some bucks on that one. All right, let's see what else we have coming in on the request line. Anything else? Are we good? Uh, how are we doing on time? I want to thank Pablo and Anais out there because they're running, they're running my video. Oh, good, good. We're doing good. Yeah. Hey, what? How about we do this? How, Rudy, would you like to play us another song off your new album? Ooh, I could. Would you like uh, to? Sure. Or if you want to play us, it doesn't have to be off the new CD. Whatever you How about, would you play Under the Gun with me? Yeah, you got it. I mean, you want to do it on the piano sure. or guitar? Sure, whatever you want. I'll do it on piano with you. You know, um, I, on, on my new album, Mark sat in on two songs on piano, and uh, one of them I wrote for my grandson, and it's, it's, a, it's a really pretty song, and man, Mark played a piano part on that thing that to me is just absolutely inspired, and when Beth and I sit back and listen to that, we just kind of look at each other and go, wow. <laughs> so, uh, but what, probably one of the earliest songs I wrote is this one called Under the Gun, and uh, I, I've been playing it for quite a while, and I love what you, Mark does on the piano on this one, too. So let, let's do it together. You got it. Well, I've been wondering what you're going to do. Waiting for a clue Will you stand or will you fall Does it matter at all Or are you under the gun or Are you under the gun or Are you under the gun Are you under the gun Pressing in, getting too close to call. Now things getting tight, your back's against the wall. For oh, you did stand and you did fall, you couldn't win them all. And you're still under the gun, you're still under the gun. Still under the gun Are you under the gun? Are you under the gun? Are you under the gun? Are you under the gun?
things that you've been through Are you better somehow For what you chose to do For you did stand and you did fall You couldn't win them all And you're still under the gun You're still under the gun You're still under the gun are you under the gun? 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 Yeah. Ooh, thank you. Beautiful, Mark. Thank you so much. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. How about Rudy B? Keep the comments coming in. Let me know. Does he stay in the band? Do we toss him out? It's up to you guys tonight. Um, really sharp. Are you sharp? It might be me. Might be me. Um, Pablo, hold on. Let me switch to Spanish for one second. Pablo, si puedes mostrar de las bodas en esta canción, está bien? Let me let me tune this thing up real quick. This next song is another one that I'd like to show some of you guys on uh, your old wedding pictures. Man, some of you guys are well, all of you guys are looking really really good in those. I want to thank you for sending me those. Um, and they just kind of fit perfectly in this next song, which is uh, one of my newest songs. I have not yet recorded it, but I hope to one day uh, if I can get back to Nashville and do another project. Good. Yeah. I'll give you one and then I'll come here. Yeah. I still recall the first time that we met It's one of my favorite memories Right up there with the day we went So it might sound kind of crazy When the best that I can do Each time she asks me If I have to choose among my favorite which ones they be. I just shrug and smile as I look back on times I can't forget. Cause my favorite memories are the ones we still ain't made yet. Seeing that blue line on me, PT. Checking out that first ultrasound Sometimes it's all one big blur to me So what am I supposed to do? What can I say? Each time she asks me If I had to choose among my favorite memories Which ones they be? I just shrug and smile as I look back on times I can't forget. Cause my favorite memories are the ones we still ain't made yet. We got a lifetime of history, but we've only begun. Just imagine all the things we still ain't done. So each time she asks me if I had to choose among my favorite memories, which ones they'd be, I just shrug and smile, cause we've had a blast, I must admit, cause my favorite memories are 
of the ones we still ain't made yet. Those memories we still ain't made yet. So many memories we still ain't made. Thank you very much. So I didn't we get need that I album. Didn't... I'm telling you, that album needs to come out. That's beautiful. Oh well, thank you. I do hope to record that song. I've been uh, another one of the blessings mixed in with all the craziness of the pandemic is that I've actually been getting a chance to sit and uh, and not only practice and play guitar and piano and those things, but actually write some new songs. And I do hope to get back in the studio again and and uh, get some new music out. Um, you know, Rudy has got his new CD out. And just so you guys know, I've got mine. I'm higher tech than him. Well, you I'm are. kidding. Yes, you are. Rudy, I know, is going to also, he's going to be putting his music on USB drive also. Well, yes. So if you're interested, if you don't have a CD player, um, do, don't give up on buying Rudy B stuff. You can shoot me an email, and I will hook you up with Rudy, and uh, he can give you one of his USB drives. Yeah. Okay? They're, they're coming. They're not quite ready. So They're coming soon. Yeah. Uh, mine are here. I, you know, Mark, <laughs> now the other thing that's different is I had to bring beer to Mexico because I found out that Mexico has once again run out of beer, and I do believe that maybe Mooligan <laughs> drank Mexico dry. <laughs> Could be. You guys ready? Get off your couches. Come on. Spring breakers with salt shakers chasing every shot with a line. Old geezers and gold diggers, it's amazing what money can buy. They're all drinking Mexico dry, dancing on the tables and falling on the floor. They're all drinking Mexico dry, and I wish they would just go. Grande ain't seen his kids in a year. He's 45, she's 19. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby, can I buy you a beer? Now he's drinking Mexico dry. Expatriated from the red, white, and blue. Now he's drinking Mexico dry. And I wish that he would just go home. They'll always tell you. Don't drink that water, but this ain't what they mean. They call the culture intoxicated. I look around and all that I see are underage, white trash, playing king for the day, screaming, hey, waiter, speak English, can't you see I'm from the USA? One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor down. Drink it next to go dry. And I wish that they would just go home. Rudy B, take it away. wants to live la vida loca he wants to really get wild another shot vacation's over now he's here for a while cause he got hammered he got nailed they threw his butt in the game and now it's please god they get me out and i'll never drink with rudy again Drinking Mexico dry. He's finally learning how to say no more. No mas. Drinking Mexico dry. And he wishes he could just go. Yeah, I wish that they would just go home. Skanky folks with rum and coke. I wish that they would just go home. Ladies 
and gentlemen, Rudy B is not having any fun no, tonight. No, 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 no. Hey, Rudy, there was a song that I haven't played in a long time, but I love doing this one with you. That's your name. That's my great name. Yep, yeah. Thank you. Salud. Hey, salud. That's salud, everybody time. out yes. there. Are you enjoying this? Because I'm back again next week. Um, a lot of you guys have been telling me, hey, you know, even though things are reopening, um, I know a lot of my, my gang is just not really comfortable yet going out um, as often as they used to, at least. One of my friends says, you know, it's really not the same going out to a restaurant when there's like police tape around certain tables and your waitress has a mask and you can't tell if she's frowning or smiling. And I think a lot of people are just kind of waiting until things actually are back to normal before they actually spend big money to go out to eat in a situation like that. If that's your case and you're spending a little more time at home, I appreciate you making Monday nights part of your routine. And uh, this is the first time today that we've moved it to 5 o'clock. That'll be the time for next week also. I'm going to keep this thing going as long as you guys would like me to. And if you tell me to uh, shut the heck up, just, you know, I, I'll do that. But uh, I'm having a great time with it, and it's really extra fun tonight having Rudy be here. Rudy, thank you so much for being Please. a part of this. Yeah, thank you for I've, letting me. Yeah. I've re really enjoyed hearing, uh, hearing your songs, too, and I hope everybody out there will be supportive and pick up a Rudy B C D. Um, I forgot to mention, by the way, my USB. Sometimes people get these in the mail and they don't know what to do with it. They're like, okay, it looks like a card. There's a little tab on this thing. All you do is you flip it. You go like this, and there it is. You stick that in your so Mark, USB player. I do have to confess. Yes. I did that, but I put it in upside down. Oh, yeah. And it didn't work. Oh, thank you for so letting people I know that. So I did turn it over, and it worked really, really good. But thank you. I did it wrong the first time. Yeah, because it, it, seriously, people do email me. They're like, I don't really know how to play this thing. But what's great about this thing, honestly, is this has got all my CDs, including Rising Sun, which is my gospel album. And um, it's got, I think, 131 songs from 14 CDs or something like that, all in one little credit card size thing. And at my Monday shows, I, I've discounted these things. They're, they were normally $69. That's for the entire set of CDs that would normally cost you 13 bucks each. Um, and we do them on sale for $49. So if you're interested in one of those, Rudy is going north, and I'm sure along with his CDs, he can uh, not only send those out, but also I'm going to reach behind Rudy. Hold on. Oh, okay. What do you have? Let me see. Can you pull out the... Oh, the shirts. I, here. Hold on a minute. One second. Oh, the hat. I should be wearing this. I'd look really good in this hat, I think. Mary, can I hold this for you? That's what you like. You grab one of them. Mary, you grab the other? Let me get both ladies out here. Um, I do. Yeah, Mary is actually modeling one of these. These, I'm sorry. These T-shirts are great, great quality. Another castaway from Mulligan's Island. They're fun colors. 100% um, cotton. Um, like I said, they last forever. We got a great price on the 20 bucks, and that includes the shipping. Shipping has got really expensive too. No but I'm still going to do them. I think for one more week here, I'm going to do these at 20 bucks before we actually raise the price. Um, Rudy has got some up at his place in Phoenix that he can ship out. If you would like to uh, put it in order for one of the 20 bucks, it includes the shipping. You can just, uh, when you use that PayPal link, just you know, send me a little note and say, that's for a T-shirt. Let me know your size, medium, large, XL, or double X, and we will get that shirt in the mail for you. If it's a USB, those are $49. That's for the whole set. And I also have, I think, about four hats left, and then they are out of them. I haven't had these in years. Uh, these than, are, we've got more than four, I think. Do we? Do we, we might have six. Okay. Ha we've got like a half dozen left. These are embroidered caps. Again, great, great quality. Uh, it's got the Velcro thing in the back. You'll be styling. And these are 20 bucks. That includes the shipping. So I hope you'll pick something up. And thank you. I really enjoyed playing this next song with Rudy. It's off the same beer, different can album. And I don't play it in a lot of my shows, so I'm giving you some stuff tonight you, you don't usually hear. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. It's called This Letter. Excuse me if I ramble on a little more than I 
really should. I'd pull this pen from this paper if words unsaid were somehow understood. I'm not trying to hold on, change your mind or bring you down. That's the last thing I want to do. Since that day I heard the news when they told me about you. You're the one place my thoughts run to. As they lead me back to memories, I guess the time is yet to wash away. I hear he's everything you never realized Meant so much to you Security, stability For things I could provide, it's true That wishing well ran dry But if dreams could get you by Would things have turned out differently? Would you find you still belong in the words of every song of our shared autobiography? And I wonder, would he be writing you this letter if somehow our paths were to cross again? Now there's this box of faded memories that tell the pains of me and you. But I guess those old what might have been can't replace what's bound to be. Still, if I could today, I'd call you up and just say hey and tell you how I wish you well. Knowing me, I bet I'd say something I regret Or hear secrets you best not tell So instead I wrote this letter Though I could still write you love letters That's why I still ain't sent this letter I love playing that song with you, Rudy. That's off the same beer, different can album. A song called This Letter. Uh, all right. Anything off the request line? How we doing? We still got time for just a couple, I think. Sonora Sound to Carol. Oh, oh hi, Carol. Song. Out in Southern California. Yes, you know, we were going to do that the very first time up at Coyote Creek. And I'm not sure we've played it since then. It's been a long time. I did this one uh, a couple of weeks ago with my band, Six and a Half Mexicans. And just so you guys know, uh, there were some people that missed that show that wanted to see it. We went on my website, and if you click on the link that says Picks and Video, I've got past shows from Mulligan's Backyard. I've got Six and a Half Mexicans, and I've got Hope Fest. Uh, all of them are there, so you can watch them in their entirety. Um, you can also watch all these shows uh, on YouTube. If you know somebody who doesn't have Facebook or can't log in for any reason or just missed this and wants to see this later tonight, um, about an hour after the show, two hours after the show, we get these things uploaded, and you can see it on YouTube. So I hope you'll let your friends know about this so that they can check out Rudy B. also. How are we doing on time? Okay, good. We've still got time for a couple requests. Uh, Carol, thank you for requesting this song. I miss you and Krista, and I hope you guys are doing well. And I want to get out to Southern Cal and see you again soon. I got a buddy of mine who's living up in L.A. He's got a two-story house and a Cadillac Escalade. 
Likes to call me up whenever he gets drunk Just to tell me how much he misses the Sonora sun Sonora sun Keep shining on me till the day is done Halfway around the world Played my brown-eyed girl and Just one kiss had me set that suitcase down Now she's laughing at me cause she doesn't quite understand How I made it this far in a rusty old broken down van Fifty bucks doesn't go as far as it used to do Where would I be if I hadn't run into you? Sonora sun, keep shining on me till the day I've been halfway around the world, but blame my brown eyed girl. Just one kiss had me setting that suitcase down. You're always on the tip of my tongue Oh, you know it'd be a waste of my time To ever try to get you off of my mind I sure love how you shine Sitting on the sun Keep shining on me till my days are done Oh, you're more than just my alibi You're my every reason why Shaking their hands and they're saying that boy's long gone In the Sonora sun In the Sonora sun In the Sonora sun Right, Rudy. Wow, it's been a long time since you played that one with me. Yeah, yeah. very cool. Carol, you thank know, you for the request on that. I get way up here on the note and I just <laughs> about can't reach it. I need one of those little cutaway things like yours has got. I'm afraid to take a hacksaw to the guitar. I think Beth would kill me. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what's amazing, guys, is when I first met Rudy, I'm going to guess it was about five, six years ago. Yeah, uh, 2014. So I was sitting on a plane and we always say, we did something that people never do anymore. We actually spoke to each other. Can you imagine that? And uh, in the conversation, you know, Rudy didn't really go on and on about himself. I just went on and on about myself. No, I'm just kidding. He, uh, but he did mention to me that he'd been in a band like 30 years before that. And that, of course, he had to get a real job and all that. And, you know, I hear that from a lot of people. And so I didn't really have any expectations in my head about what kind of guitar player this was. And I think a couple of weeks later, Rudy ended up coming to a show that I was doing with Kelly McGuire. And he brought, um, he said, hey, do you remember me? You gave me a CD of yours on a plane. And I said, oh, yeah, we were just on a flight together. Well, one thing led to another. And uh, he came to a couple of shows. And next thing I knew, I was doing a show at Rudy's house. And I still didn't know what kind of a musician we were talking about until I walked in to his house and he showed me a studio and I saw all these really, really nice guitars and I thought something is up here. And I asked Rudy to play something for me and he, and he I think you did uh, one of my songs off Back to Laid Back. You played me a little bit of it. I'm like, wow, this guy's done his homework. And I got Rudy up, I think, to play one song with me that day, maybe two songs, I don't remember. And I said, the next time I come to Phoenix and do a show here, will you play the show? I think that's how it went. And ever since then, I can't get rid of this guy. Um, you know, really, it was the cover show, I think, that was the first one at, at Enchiladas 
got me hooked, you know. This guy is a human jukebox. <laughs> you know, you throw a song at him, and I've never even heard of the song, or you know, maybe not even the artist or anything, and Mark goes, oh, I think I remember that one. Yeah, I, I probably played that. And off he goes. There's a lot of space in this head. Uh, hey, speaking of cover songs, I know that my crowd out there really, really likes to hear this next one. Uh, some of you guys are actually living the video to this song in more ways than one. But I know a lot of you enjoy guacamole while you're watching Mark Mulligan on Monday nights. Uh, now, if, even if you're not enjoying guacamole and eating it, you got to sing along on this. You know your part. Every time I say the magic word, guacamole, you're going to shout back like these guys. Watch this. Guacamole! Guacamole! If they can do it, you can do it too. Rudy, are you ready? Yeah, here, here's the mic. <laughs> Come on up, guys. We need your help on this one. I met her at the Mercado. She was buying avocados. And man, she really turned me on. She reached for my pepper, and I grabbed her tomatoes. I knew it wouldn't take very long. She walked up to La Mesa. She picked up some cerveza. So I picked up some onions and limon. And the way she looked at me, man, I could clearly see that it wouldn't take very long. Are you guys ready? Guacamole! 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 We'd be big guacamole all night long. Guacamole. Guacamole. guacamole, guacamole, we'd be big in guacamole all night long. Take it away, Rudy B. Oh, that's some bushy stuff. She walked up to the line, I fell in right behind. Man, she sure looked good to me, gay bonita. She reached for her money. I said, wait a minute, honey. I believe this one is on me. We got in my pickup. We started to back up. We headed on down the road. We went into her casa. We ate tortillas de pasa. And we made guacamole all night long. Guacamole. guacamole, guacamole, we'd be making guacamole all night long. This is getting ridiculous. Guacamole, 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 guacamole. we'd be making guacamole all night long. Rudy B, play us something mushy over there. You guys have any tortilla chips? Like while he's playing, maybe you can just put like something out in my mouth. I'm kind of hungry. You redeem yourself here, Rudy. Everybody at home, give it up for Rudy B. Here we go. Guacamole. Guacamole. Haciendo guacamole toda la noche. Guacamole. Guacamole. Making guacamole all night long. Here's the grand finale now. Guacamole. 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 We'd be making guacamole all night long. Guacamole. Guacamole. We'd be making guacamole. Seriously, that looks really good. All night long. Just bring that up to the camera and show them how good that guacamole looks. A Mark Mulgan show always needs props. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the props. See, ladies and gentlemen, we even have well, like, and, and the room. all this fake booze back here. Yeah. <laughs> Empty beer cans. That's right. That's only because I was here earlier. Sorry. That's right. That's right. Uh, okay, do we have time for how many more? What, what time is it? My, my watch doesn't work. My calendar still works. We have time for Dos Mas. Yeah. Hey, Seaside Realty, thank you so much for giving Rudy and Beth the rock star treatment. 
the the uh, Pelican Beach condo that these guys are staying in is a three bedroom, three bath. And in fact, next week I might even do the show from there, and we can actually show you guys the condo. And I want you to see it because uh, Rudy was telling me, you 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 were telling me that if that thing was in Hawaii, it'd be like a thousand bucks a night. If it was in so. if it was in San Diego, this thing would be like 750 bucks a night. I'm dead serious because you're right up against the water. Um, when you go on the website for Seaside Realty, which you can see it on the corner of my screen, I believe, tonight, or, um, or on my website, we've, we've also got it on there, their yeah. link, their prices on their rentals are incredible. And don't forget, they're not, they're not just rentals, obviously. So many people I know have actually come to this town, spent time here, well, like Chris, like Chris Roth, the guacamole guy. Uh, you know, I knew Chris for a long a time. New Chris, business and everything. Chris came down here and he rented many, many times, and now he and Mary own a place here, and they spend quite a bit of the year down here. And that's just a very, very common story. I guarantee you, when you come to San Carlos and when you experience the people here, and I'm not only talking about the local Mexicans, but the Americans who live here and the Canadians who live here, we have the neatest, nicest bunch of people. We really, really do have a special group here. And that's going to be your favorite part. But you're also obviously going to love the scenery. You're going to love the beaches. You're going to love all the things there are to do in this town. Uh, there's great social clubs like Castaway Kids, Rotary Club. Uh, there's biking. There's hiking. There's kayaking. There's sailing. There's something for everybody in this town. And other thing you're going to love, like I mentioned before, the prices. Rudy was telling me about when you went out to eat, and you were oh, right yeah. up against the water the other day. Oh, and beautiful. What was your we tap for two of you guys? This is in a, in a seaside place out in San Carlos, right up against the water. To, uh, uh, you had two great meals and four beers. And that what was, was your... 350 pesos. 350 pesos is about... Sixteen fifty, about sixteen seventeen dollars. Two soup. people, four beers, and great seafood meals, up against the water. Now, what Delicious. do you think? What do you think a beer would cost you against the water in San Diego? I'm going to guess the just one of the beers when you're in a seaside place, seven bucks, probably more, more probably that, eight more nine that, bucks. Yeah. So seriously, before you go throwing your money away in places like that, come down here, give us a shot. My recommendation, October, November are beautiful months down here because you can still uh, get in the water. Uh, the water temps are still swimmable, and the air temp is obviously great. Um, I won't really talk to you about July, August right now because right now with the border restrictions, it's not a really good time to be coming here anyway. We all know that. I'm not going to kid you. But this is all going to end, and when it does, I want you to come on down and visit me. Sound good? We're going to do two more songs here, and then uh, we might just bust into one of these bottles here. Pablo Anais, thank you for, thank for you. all you're doing, Chris and, and Mary, and thank Seaside Realty. And Rudy, of course, thank you for being a part of this. And Beth, you've really made this fun. Rudy, do you have a song that you would like to play, uh, oh. a request of mine, or something we can do together? You know, would you play um, How Am I to Know With Me? I can do that for you. Yeah, this is, this is off of the new album. Um, and this is one that Mark played on, on the album. And Makes sense then, though, so I might... And, and, yeah, I know you need to walk over and get on the piano. Um, but, uh, you know, I wrote this song for my grandson. And he was dating a girl. And I, it was coming around Christmas time. And we were talking about what he was going to get her for Christmas. And he said, well, I'm going to get her some fuzzy socks and a Starbucks card. And what a romantic my, devil. My first thought was, do you like this girl? <laughs> and, you know, so we kind of had those questions. Well, do you like her? And he's kind of, you know, he's young. He's in his teens. He goes, no, I don't know. And I said, well, does she like you? And I'm like, well, I don't know. And I said, well, did you talk to her? He said, well, no, but we text a lot. <laughs> and I thought, well, m maybe we should be a little more uh, romantic that, than that. So I wrote this for him. I'm not sure he really appreciates it though. Probably not. If you love me, tell me so. If you want me, let it show. If you need me, let me know. If you don't say the words, how am I to know? How am I 
hard to know I love your smile and the sweetness it shows I love your laugh and how you wrinkle up your nose I love the words and the things that you know And when you say goodnight I don't want you to go Love the times when we stand so close Just you and me, well I like that the most Sometimes you give me your hand to hold And when you say goodnight, I don't want you to go Thank you, Mark. Thank you. From the new one. Hold that up one more time. You hold it up and I'll hold it up. Oh, all right. I'll hold, I'll hold it up. So Those were the years. Those were the years. the name of the album. And it's nine ninety nine. dollars See, that's a price reduction because it was 10 bucks a little while ago. Hey, every penny counts in this economy. There's a PayPal link, and it's paypal.me slash Rudy Brueggemann. It's on your screen, I believe. And... Uh, I hope you'll pick up the CD. We have one more because it's 6:59. Yeah, we have one last song. This is it. Um, let's do let's do a little ride. Oh, oh good. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I wish Elsa could have been here with us. I don't either. I wish that Elsa could have been here tonight with us. Um, she loves this song. She loves when I close the show with a song because she thinks that my voice sounds so macho. Ooh. That's not a word often associated with the Mark Mulligan song. I'm not exactly like an outlaw country kind of guy. This is so Mark Mulligan. Muy, muy macho. We're going to head back to Kirkland Junction, Arizona. Uh, site of my very first solo show. I could have really, really used Rudy B there that night, not to play guitar, but as a bodyguard. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, let's head to Kirkland Junction right now. You ready? I walked into that bar in Kirkland Junction. The place was full of cowboys as I whipped out my guitar with a bar stool for a stage and 50 bucks in pay. Just a few songs into my very first solo gig. 
I said, my name's Guy, and I don't like your music. Would you kindly take that guitar, drink your beer, and hit the road? I said, Guy, I'll tell you what. Name any song you want. And if you stump me, I swear, I'm out the door. Thank God I knew Guy's favorite tune that night. Probably saved my life. If not for rose-colored glasses, what would have happened? I might. They got killed that night. But Guy just took his hat off and he stuck it on my head. Slapped me on the back and said, I like this kid. And as I look back now, I just say, wow, what a ride. up to Rocky Point to a cantina 60 miles south of the border used to be a prison then a brothel then a bar my first career mistake was playing their spring uh -huh. break and wondering uh, where's my chicken wire some punk crawled up on stage and grabbed the microphone so he could scream the F word to all his wasted friends. Well, I kicked his butt off stage and he flew into a rage and a billiard ball came flying at my head. <laughs> Had I not been sober, I might not have moved over. I'd be dead, an eight ball to the head. But it just grazed my ear and I spilled my beer. That was it. Oh yeah, but not for him. His buddies blew him off, and he couldn't afford the band. Bet he won't talk about that week he spent in jail. Cause what happens in Mexico, we know how that goes. Oh my. Tell us about it, Rudy B. guys on your couches. Give this guy a big round of applause. That's Rudy B on the guitar. Now the years have come and gone and I've been successful at avoiding any type of what they call a real job. And the more that I turn gray, the more I love to play. So thank you guys for listening to my song. From that very first tune in that cowboy saloon, I never knew where the road would lead. From sleeping in cars on beaches and bars, I see a lot of miles between. From Kirkland Junction to the Texas coast, Southern Cal, Florida, then down to Mexico. I see buses and trains and boats and planes on this road. It's amazing. So hand me a guitar, toss me a mic, and I'll keep on singing until the day I die. And with my I'll say no regrets. What a ride. What a ride. Been quiet about her. Been quiet about her. Thanks for the ride. Hold on a second. I have a request, Oh dear! and I he know. knows what I'm going to ask for. I know the show's over, but guess what? I'm going to sit my butt down, and I'm going to enjoy uh, while uh, Rudy... you got to play this one. you got to join me. You want me to join oh, you on yeah. it? Okay, well, here's the deal. Rudy has played you like these really sophisticated songs today and like showed off his artistry and all that crap. Okay, now you're going <laughs> to now you're gonna learn the warped mind side of Rudy B. This is a sick yes. man who needs help, I ladies do. and gentlemen. I do. Um, Rudy, why don't you actually close us out today? 
All right. With a uh, song called <coughs> Dead well, Bodies. Dead Bodies. <laughs> uh, so the, but the story is I sat next to a guy that was, he told me he was learning how to take things to a dump. And I was thinking, it's not that hard. But he said, well, I own a company and I have to take lessons. So <laughs> lessons. I said, well, then it was like this afternoon. And he said, no way. It took all week. Well, that's like throwing down the gauntlet. And I said, then you can take everything to the dump, can't you? <laughs> and he said, very seriously, you know, and, and quite proudly. Why, yes, sir, I can. And I thought, well, if you can do that, what do you do with the dead body? And I stomped him, but there was a Marine right there. And the Marine said to me, oh, sir, that's easy. You just roll them up in carpet. And this song was born right then. I recommend you tune out right now. My neighbor's dog, he does his business in my front yard. I sort of ran him over when I was backing up in my car. Well, I didn't mean to do it. He just got in the way. And it never would have happened if he hadn't been hunting right there in my driveway. Now, I got a body I need to stash. I roll it up in carpet and I put it in the trash. Put it in the bottom of a big old garbage can Then I roll it to the curb for the garbage man I need a hundred thousand dollars To make an ex go away Well, I ain't got any money left To fix up my own place And she was coming for her money And the stairway, it gave way Well, I've got a body well, I need to stash Well, I roll it up in carpet and I put it in the trash I put it in the bottom of a big old garbage can Then I reel it to the curb for the garbage man I've got a boss who likes to ride my back Starts early in the morning and he does it every chance that he gets Well, he stepped off the curb when I was driving past Well, I slammed on the brakes And I missed and I stepped on that gas Well, now I got body Well, I need to stash I roll it up in carpet And I put it in the trash Put it in the bottom of a big old garbage can Then I roll it to the curb For the garbage man Ladies and gentlemen, I Thank hope you, you enjoyed just... tonight's show. This is Rudy B. Give him a big round of applause from your living room. Thank you. you let me know in the comments if we should have him come join us again. I think the answer is going to be yes. Thank you, Seaside Realty. Thank you all yes. for uh, joining us tonight. Don't forget to pick up that Rudy B. CD. It's only 10 bucks. He'll be home in the, sometime in the next 12 years, and he will, eat, and he will send that thing to you. Don't forget if you want to pick up T-shirts. They're 20 bucks. My hats, those are 20 bucks. And I've got my USB complete set. Uh, that's $49. And Rudy uh, didn't realize this, but he's now my shipping agent. Okay. So, well, I, I, I can do that. Yeah. So if you want to order anything tonight, it's a great time to do it. And I look forward to seeing you again at my backyard bar, either here or possibly from Pelican Beach. Oh, nice. The, and, and you know what's really cool? I think if I do the show there, I just might actually get to stay there. I'm no oh, dummy, yeah. folks. So uh, I'll be seeing you next week at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. God bless you guys. You're the best. Thank See you, you soon. Good night, Mark. Thank you.